Good morning, fans. Privateer FX coming at you on 12 Jan. It's a Thursday, CPI day today. Um, feels like Tuesday when we we're waiting for Powell. I have a feeling we're just going to have to wait for CPI today. Uh, but let's have a run through and see what expectations are. Spoos are on the highs. Here's the 200 day bang. For those of you who are pedantic, 3990. 90 is a 200 day. This will move with CPI, uh, obviously. NASI, uh, we don't trade the NASI as much. Um, not at the 200 day, let's just put it that way. Crude, 77 bucks, heading towards 80 again. Uh, haven't traded crude in a while. Italian yields back at four. It's good for Euro. US yields, 353. Three. <whistles> Should be bad for the dollar. But the dollar is resisting right now. Currencies are doing their own thing, dancing to their own beat here. Excuse me. Um, let's have a look. Aussie, not doing anything. Dollar CAD, not doing anything. Euro, yeah. Supportive. Chopped around uh, 25.55 a lot yesterday um, on the high end of the range. Euro sterling made a new high up there at 80. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to have a real hard time getting, getting any traction up there. We'll need some bad news out of the UK. Uh, by the way, that could come tomorrow with GDP. Um, stay tuned. That's not really a euro sterling day. Cable chopping around. Kiwi should be higher, right? Kiwi should be higher. Stocks are on its highs. Yields are cripply bippily. Not sure why Kiwi's not higher. Dollar again finally went down last night. Um, we sold yesterday 132.50, fucked around, took some back, had a little short position. Uh, this, this one fucked us yesterday, wow. Um, we sold, uh, basically our average was 58, stopped out at 88, just kept trucking, right? Why is dollar Swiss at 93.25 with US rates where they are? Well, I'll tell you why. This guy, Euro Swiss. Um, I had no less than 50 people ask me yesterday what the fuck is going on with Euro Swiss. Uh, and to be honest, I just, I don't know. I do know the 200 day. We've been below the 200 day. Basically. I mean basically over a year, a year and a half. So we finally break the 200 day. Maybe the system's kicked in. Maybe risk on. I don't know. But Euro Swiss is, is on a tear. Uh, it makes sense to me in a sense that this is just cheap historically in Euro Swiss, but I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. We got fucked in Euro Swiss and Dollar Swiss yesterday. Took a red, two reds uh, on that on both of those trades. We sold Euro Swiss between sixty and seventy. We stopped out through one. Um, so that was a shitty trade. Two shitty trades, um, but whatever. Got to move on. Can't win them all. Um, and no sense crying over spilt milk. So dollar Swiss is a bit peculiar. Euro Swiss is a bit peculiar. The rest of the pairs are doing their thing. Aussie and Kiwi are not collaborating. And then the crosses, obviously these Swiss crosses are higher. I'm only going to bring this up because we're not trading this. But there is a little bit of a story here if you want it, right? Aussie Swiss is normally a risk on. Um metric even more than euro swiss you get a weak cpi aussie could pop um, is aussie cad no let's check dollar max we talked about this yesterday this was the only real chart that had any real 
um, juice 1905 um, sorry it was 1904.50 uh, short dollar max still looks okay trim it going into um, CPI because you don't want to have a big chunky dollar position going into CPI but oil's higher um, chart looked it acted it um, and finally did it dollar max lower which was which was pretty good euro norway back up towards the highs this does not make sense we will fade this uh, again as we did last time but now we will we're going to fade up it um, in the 1080s dollar norway we leave alone gold watching gold now a little bit more ten dollar range yesterday ten seventy ten eighty basically doji uh, again this is binary on CPI we're gonna start watching dollar China as well we missed a nice little move here um, up above seven this thing's probably gonna go back down to six and a quarter um, anyway and crypto still bid Bitcoin 18 handle, Ethereum 1400. My other dog, Matic, is like a dog. She was first to break through the 200 day here, and she she rocked through that fucker, right? 84 up to 120. Um, <clears throat> anyway, she's chilling at 88 cents. Uh, our big position, which is an Ethereum, it's fine. Sniffing break even in Ethereum. Our break even in Ethereum is seventeen hundred. Um, bottom drawer investments. Those guys now. I'll tell you what. And then let's finally look at the two stocks we're fucking around with. Apple obviously went higher. Uh, that's great. We actually trimmed because of this technical level here at one thirty five and going into CPI and. To be fair, we needed the P&L to pay for our horrible Swiss trades. So we trimmed a bit of Apple. Um, Microsoft, we were in and out of yesterday for also a little bit of money, but we hate Microsoft. But if Microsoft buys ChatGPT, this shit's going to, this will be the most powerful company in the world. Um, so be careful with that. I don't know if you guys are following that, but anyway, Apple, you still want to own it. Our average now is is amazing, right? We're probably long or at, at, at around 119. Um, but we will try and, if CPI is hot, we will buy Apple on dips. Um, anyway, no real, no real B in my bonnet at the open here. Scratching my head at this Aussie and Kiwi price action, um, but not touching it. Get some fitness this morning, probably do some reading. Oh, let's check out dollars are. This guy's like tiptoeing around the tulips here. As most of you know, we hate selling dollars are. But 1688 is a level. Six big figures away, pre-CPI. Uh, don't like it for this morning, but just keep an eye. Um, and we'll see. Let's let's see what the slush does on these uh, currencies. This stuff's just going to flop around until CPI, uh, and then we'll lock and load after lunch today uh, and see what happens 2.30 Swiss time. Good luck out there, people. Ciao.